So employee resource groups are employee-led groups um, that are sponsored by the organization. They include employees that have a commonality, um, an interest in uh, changing the experience for our employees and our patients. It really gives them a safe, confidential space where they can share their experience and learn from others uh, without judgment. Um, we even at our ERG for substance use disorder, we have what we call the Vegas rule, that what's discussed in our meeting stays in that meeting. It's not shared outside of it. Um, and I think that makes people feel comfortable that they can share their experience, what they've learned. And by um, sharing that with others, we can learn from each other. It gives a space, an opportunity to um, learn more about you know, that different topic of that ERG, there's a ton of education, which is really valuable. So even if you identify as that ERG, um, you know, title, or you're wanting to learn more or figure out how you can be a support, whether it's for the LGBTQ ERG um, or one of the other ERGs, it's just a really great space to learn more about also what our healthcare system is doing um, for each kind of ERG topic. So for me, I think it's a great opportunity for us to help employees feel more at home, to have an outlet to voice concerns, to also have a sounding board to get advice. So it's an opportunity for folks in ERGs and folks not in ERGs to grow from one another. And because ERGs also incorporate allies, it also is another opportunity for people to learn. It really is a great way to get involved in the culture in the organization, uh, to learn more about the organization, to establish companionship, relationships, and really getting that advice.